Now the students have conducted their investigation, they need to analyse and evaluate the data that they collected. This video examines these parts of the science inquiry rubric. There are two main aspects that the students need to discuss. Firstly, analysing the data, where students identify any patterns in the data or look for relationships between the independent and dependent variable. It's a place where students use their data to establish a claim. The next they need to evaluate the, their investigation. Firstly, they might look at improvements, where students em explore the improvements to the procedure of their investigation. These improvements must directly relate to achieving more reliable or accurate data. They can look at the reliability of their data. So how well were they able to keep all the other variables the same across the trials so that only the variable changing, the independent variable, is impacting on the dependent variable? How well were they able to standardise the measurement of the dependent variable across the trials? And why did they repeat the trials? And lastly, they need to talk about future investigations that might add to the data collected and help them answer their investigatable question. Here is an example of the data that students might collect from this investigation. A table of values begins the process of data analysis. Students may be able to describe relationships or see patterns in the data here. A graph is another way to look at the relationship between the independent and dependent variable. The choice of type of graph is really important. If both the independent and dependent variables provide continuous data, then the students can plot a line graph. Column graphs, however, are the most appropriate graph to use when the independent variable is discrete data. E.g., instead of measuring time for hand washing, we were investigating the type of soap used for hand washing. Whichever graph they choose, the graph must have the independent variable on the horizontal axis and dependent on the vertical axis. The axes need to be clearly labelled and a graduated scale on each axis. See the teacher support materials for further hints on graphing and a graphing checklist. One way to help students analyse their data and evaluate their investigation is to provide structured questions that lead them through the things that they should consider. Are there any patterns, trends or relationships evidenced from their results? What did the results tell them about their original question? What way was the result different from their prediction? Did they have any unexpected results and why do they think they occurred? Are their results reliable, accurate, valid? What improvements might they make to their experimental design? And what contribution does their investigation make to their overall understanding of the topic? And finally, what further things could they investigate? It's really important that students reflect on what they've learned from the investigation and how that learning relates back to what they were curious about right at the beginning of this process. Do they now know more about hand washing and germs? In the last video of this series we will look at how to write a conclusion for the investigation.